After a few delays, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is almost upon us, releasing on the 1st of February 2024, and with the somewhat confusing separation of the game's editions, nobody would blame you for getting a little bit muddled when deciding which one to buy. Hi everyone, this is Jason from Realm Space Gaming, and today we're going through the different editions of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and then assessing which version you should buy to get the most out of your money. On Grand Blue Fantasy's Japan-based site, you'll find all the edition options, but to save you from the difficult navigation there, we'll give you the simple breakdown. Before we get into this, you should know that the game is only releasing on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and on Steam on PC, so if you're a PC player, buying the game on Steam is your only option, whereas if you're a PlayStation player, you'll be able to choose between the physical or digital copies of the game. There's also a demo available for PlayStation players, but that's not technically a version of the game. Jumping right in then, the most basic version of the game available is the Standard Edition. You can buy this digitally for PlayStation on the PlayStation Store or for PC on the Steam Store. If you want a physical copy, that'll be available for PlayStation only from Amazon, Xseed or your local game shop, which is Target for our American friends. Aside from the physical copy including the game box and disc, all copies of the Standard Edition include the base game. Only PlayStation copies of the Standard Edition, however, will include a key to claim the Grand Blue Special Item Set, Relink Pack, which is a set of items you can use in the original Grand Blue Fantasy browser, Android, and iOS game, not this new one, however. We won't go over this set in detail, but it includes the Rebelware main character outfit and a choice of the Eternals Transcendent set or the Evoker's Domain set. You can pause the video here if you want to take a closer look at what each set includes. There's also a list of terms and conditions with them. Again, please pause if you want to read this section. But wait, there's more. All physical copies of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink are distributed by Xseed in the US and by PlayOn in the rest of the world. For this reason, if you're buying a physical copy of the game from Australia, New Zealand, Spain, France, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, Poland, the UK, the Nordic countries, or the Benelux, in fact, if you're buying it from anywhere except the US and Canada, then your physical standard edition copy will actually be the Day 1 edition. The Day 1 edition includes 4 sigils, a level 3 attack power boost, a level 3 regen boost, a level 3 critical hit rate boost, a level 3 fast loner boost, 10 fortitude shards, 5 glitterstone S tier material, and 30 mastery points, all for use in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. You'll also get the Relink pack for regular Grand Blue Fantasy with this, however. Moving on from the Standard Edition, your next option up from that is the Special Edition, which is only available digitally from the PlayStation or Steam stores. In addition to the base game, the Special Edition comes with the False Sword of the Apocalypse weapon, Color Packs 2 and 3, and a Starter Item Pack containing 30 Glitter Crystal, 500 NSP, and 50 Fortitude Crystal S tier material. Moving up from the Special Edition to Deluxe Edition, we leave PC behind completely as these bundles are only available for PlayStation players. In addition to the base game, the Digital Deluxe Edition comes with the same pack as the Special Edition, but also includes Color Pack number 1. All other content is out of game content, which is a digital copy of the official art book and the soundtrack. The Physical Deluxe Edition, meanwhile, comes with the base game, an art book of over 100 pages, a soundtrack CD with 12 tracks, a set of 5 postcards, and a special box to keep it all in. Remember that there was no Physical Special Edition, so if you're buying Physical, this is also the first option that comes with the same in-game item pack that the Special Edition contained, with the addition of Color Pack number 1. If you live in the United States or Canada, and you were planning to buy the Deluxe Edition on Amazon, it is worth noting that there is odd regional availability on Amazon. The Physical Deluxe Edition is only available to PlayStation 4 in Canada and PlayStation 5 in the US. Finally, we leave all digital versions of the game behind with the most full bundle of this game you can buy, and that's the Collector's Edition. Collector's Edition is only available for PlayStation 5, as for what it comes with, you'll get all the lovely goodies from the Deluxe Edition, and on top of that you'll get the Proto Bahamut statue figure, and the Sword of Eos keychain, all in an extra fancy box to keep it in. Moving away from editions for a moment, let's take a look at the pre-order bonuses. You outright cannot pre-order the game on Steam, so pre-order bonuses are for PlayStation players only. The chief benefit for pre-ordering is that you'll be granted 72 hours of early access to play the game before release, starting on the 28th of January at 7am Pacific Time. You'll also get a level 3 stamina sigil and a level 3 enmity sigil. 
Sadly, these pre-order benefits only come with a digital purchase of the game, but the bright side is that they'll come with any digital PlayStation copy of the game that you buy. With the content all covered, it's time to talk pricing. Whether you buy it on Steam, on PlayStation Digital, or PlayStation 4 or 5 physical copy of the game, the price of the standard edition remains the same, $59.99 or £49.99 in the UK. Stepping up to the digital only special edition, you're looking at paying $79.99 or £65.99 in the UK. Moving to the deluxe edition, digital deluxe will cost you $99.99 or £84.99 in the UK, and the physical Physical Deluxe Edition will cost you $99.99 as well. So Digital and Physical Deluxe Editions cost exactly the same price. Finally, the Collector's Edition will cost you $179.99 or £180.95 in the UK, though it should be noted that there is a shortage of the Collector's Edition at the moment. So now comes the big question, which one should you buy? Certainly there are pros and cons to a few of the options. If you're a content creator for example, that early access could be very important. Personally, we think the best deal by far is the Standard Edition. Games are getting pretty expensive lately, but Grand Blue Fantasy Relink already seems like it's going to be absolutely packed full of content, so you're getting quite a lot for your dollars with the Standard Edition. If you can somehow get your hands on a Day 1 Edition copy in the US, it's an even better deal because you get some nice starting goodies for the same price. I thought about recommending the Special Edition for the color packs alone, as I believe they'll go a long way in a game you're likely to spend hundreds of hours playing, but the extra $20 for that bonus just seems like a little bit too much. And at that price point, you're only another $20 away from getting the Physical Deluxe Edition goodies as well. All of this said, if you are a super fan of the series and you have your eye on the Collector's Edition, it's actually a pretty good price if you compare it to similar offerings in other Collector's Editions of recently released games. The closest comparison I could find personally was Persona 3 Reload Aegis Edition, which comes with the base game, Collector's Box, Aegis Figure, Soundtrack, Art Book and Pre-Order Bonus BGM Set. It's releasing at a similar time as well, on the 2nd of February 2024, and it costs $200 in the US, or £169.99 in the UK. So again, if you are a fan and you feel like splurging, know that you are at least getting a very good deal for your money. And that's all for today's Realm Space Buyer's Guide. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to let us know you'd like us to keep doing Buyer's Guides as we'll bring you the best value quickly and let you jump straight back into gaming. I also encourage you to check out our Discord server, a passionate and growing community of gamers. It's a place to have fun, talk about your favorite games and connect with the community here at Realm Space Gaming. My name is Jason, thanks for watching and don't forget to enjoy the rest of your day.